It's early, but those first-in-the-nation political wins are already picking up. 2016 presidential candidate Martin O'Malley will visit later this month, holding house parties and a town hall. Former O'Malley campaign co-chair Jay Serdikowski says Democrats are eager to start talking about the future. Nature abhors a vacuum. If you have that many people who are looking forward and want to see this country go in a different direction, they're going to start making noises. Serdikowski has a long list of potential candidates he'd like to see in the Granite State. As for O'Malley... I speak to him often um, and encourage him to run if he wants to do that. But I also, quite frankly, there are a lot of folks I'd love to see up here. And this is the first time in a generation we'll have such a wide open primary. There's buzz on the Republican side, too. Ohio Governor John Kasich will be at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics April 27th. Kasich was one of the big stories coming out of the 2016 primary after finishing second here to Donald Trump. He won fair and square, but I beat him in Dixville Notch. Okay? <laughs> Kasich advisor Bruce Berkey says the governor is simply coming to New Hampshire to promote his new book. I don't see him running again, but I think that he definitely wants to be a part of the discussion, and this provides that opportunity. The sentiment is similar in regards to former Vice President Joe Biden, who is headlining a major fundraiser at the end of the month in Manchester. While another White House bid for Biden is unlikely, he'll be 78 in 2020. His longtime Granite State supporters stand at the ready. I would be on both feet instantly. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.